Today we're going to be reading Little Red Reading Hood and the Miss Red Wolf by Troy Wilson. Once there was a girl called Little Red Reading Hood. She loved red. She loved reading. And she loved the special hood her grandma had made. One day, her grandma wasn't feeling well. So Red made a special treat for her and set off to deliver it. Along the way, she came across a wolf. Mmm, he said, sniffing. There, I smell my favorite smell. Luckily, Red had read what to do if you encounter a wolf. Maintain eye contact and slowly back away. So she did. The wolf kept sniffing and moved towards her. Luckily, she had read what to do if a wolf moves towards you. Stand tall, wave your arms, clap your hands, and throw rocks. So she did. No, no, said the wolf, sniffing deeper and moving closer. I just, ouch, I just want, ouch. Oh, forget it, said the wolf as he slinked away. Red continued her journey. Along the way, a robin asked where she was going. Luckily, she had read what to do if a bird asks where you're going. Give a detailed description of your route while noting good spots for worms. So, she did. Finally, Red arrived at Grandma's house. But the wolf had arrived first. Luckily, Red had read what to do if you encounter a wolf dressed as a grandparent. Hint that you know their secret by pointing out their big features. So she did. What a big nose you have, she said. All the better to smell my favorite. Er, I mean smell every smell, replied the wolf. He resisted the urge to sniff. What big ears you have, she said. All the better to hear every word. He really wanted to sniff. What big eyes you have. All the better to see every picture. He really, really wanted to sniff. What big teeth you have. All the better. He sniffed. All the better. He sniff, sniff, sniffed. Oh, forget it, said the wolf as he pounced. Luckily, Red had read what to do if a wolf dressed as a grandparent pounces. Shout and swing an axe. Unluckily, she didn't have an axe, and her shouting sounded more like screaming. Red ran for the kitchen. The wolf didn't waste a second. His big jaws yanked the treat out of the basket. Oh, that new book smell, he said. It's my favorite. Sniff, 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 sniff. Will you read this to me? Where's Grandma? demanded Red. But I am Grandma. Where's Grandma? But, but, no one ever reads to me, said the wolf. Will you read to me, please? She had never read what to do if a wolf sniffs the book you made for Grandma, asks you to read it, and doesn't once try to eat you. But Red did know that you can't judge a book by its cover. Okay, she said, if you bring me Grandma, I will read to both of you. So he did. And luckily, they all loved books.
And that is the end.